Hey everyone, welcome to my unboxing and setup of the Godox SL60W. To go along with it, I've got the Adorama 28-inch Parabolic Glow Softbox, and I'm really excited to pair these two together because at the moment I've got a YN1200 LED panel lighting me, and it's inside of a 42-inch Octabox, which unfortunately doesn't offer really very much diffusion so i'm excited to see what a parabolic softbox does and i'm also really excited because i snagged this for 120 on ebay and based on tommy cowley's reviews on youtube i think that this could be a really good fit for my budget studio setup here let's get to it power supply. Got a remote. Holy moly. This thing is way bigger than I expected. Like way bigger than I expected. Holy. Alright, so some of the styrofoam is broken in here. I don't know how I feel about that. Alright. So here it is. Pretty nice looking. I really like that it's got this big LED chip. It makes a big difference when you're lighting people with a LED panel versus one big chip. And wow, this thing is freaking huge. So it comes with this attachment thing that I guess you can use to spot the light and then it turns in and the light only comes out of this little hole. I don't know uh, how useful that is for my purposes, but it's there and that's cool. One of the other things that I'm inspecting really closely is that because I bought this off of eBay, I am looking around for marks, and there's a few scuffs here and there. Otherwise, you know, it, it looks pretty pretty good. Next up, I'm going to open the 28-inch Parabolic Softbox so that I can mount this up. And this is the 28-inch Parabolic Softbox by Adorama's Glow brand. And I'm... Um, Excited to open this up. Alright, this is looking pretty cool. So one of the reasons that I went with the Adorama Glow brand is because it, first of all, comes with a really nice grid, and it comes with plenty of diffusion. Um, it also comes with a nice little guide here, which I will be reading because I don't know how to set this up quite yet. Alright, so in order to get this mounted, I actually had to put the Bowens mount side down like this on the ground and then push down to actually get it all opened up. But now I think that's close to it. I believe that I have to put this little panel thing inside in there and then attach some diffusion. And when I'm done with that, I'm going to set it up and set it up as my key light. I just finished setting up the Godox SL60W and I'm pretty happy with the light that it's giving out. I like that I can actually look directly into my light now and not be blinded and I've got the double diffusion on it so I've got inner diffusion and outer diffusion 
on the soft box and I didn't really feel a need to include this this little convex or concave little diffuser thing on it. Uh, I, I felt like I'm getting better results without it on. And right now I've got the 60W at full 100% power. And when it comes to sound, I am really impressed. I really don't think the stock fan is that loud. Overall, I'm really happy with this purchase. I think that my first impressions are really positive and it's a really good budget light. And one of the things that maybe I wish I did was buy a larger parabolic softbox. So I have the 28 inch and I think I would have been happier with the 36 inch. So I've reviewed some of the footage from the Godox SL60W and I noticed that after replacing my YN1200, I had that at 70% power with one layer diffusion. And now I've got the Godox SL60W at 100% power with double diffusion. I've got the inner diffusion and the outer diffusion. And I'm reviewing the footage and I actually realized that I was a bit overexposed in my first set of clips with the YN1200. And I was, I am now a hair underexposed with the SL60W at 100% power. So I'm going to try taking out one of the layers of diffusion and see what this looks like and see if this exposes a little bit better. All right, so I just sat down and I took out the inner piece of diffusion, which I will note is kind of difficult to do because of these buttons. But I imagine you'll either decide to have it on or off and make your decision from there. And I can't quite see if I'm overexposed. I don't have my histogram on the screen anymore. But it looks like I'm starting to blow out over here. So I think that it's worth it to have this inner diffusion piece in. And if I have to, I'll bump up the ISO a stop on my camera. One of the other things I just kind of noticed is that to my eye, it looks like my YN600 Air is a little more accurate to 5600K. Um, I would say maybe, I would just say in comparison to the SL60W, my YN600 Air looks a little cooler than the SL60W. Now that I've reviewed the footage and compared the color temperature of the SL60W versus the YN600 Air, I think that for me personally, I am probably going to go back to my YN1200 simply because it will match the same color temperature as the YN600 Air, even though both the YN600 Air and the SL60W are supposed to be daylight balanced lights. They don't match perfectly, and it I don't like the way that this side of my face looks a bit warmer than this side of my face. Overall, I think that the Godox SL60W is one of the best budget lights you can buy as long as you're pairing it with a fill light that is color temperature adjustable. So a good example of a fill light that I would use with this light would be the Aperture F7. So... Personally, for me, I already have a YN1200, and that matches the color temperature of my YN600 because they're by the same brand, so their daylight balance lights are going to be the same. So for me personally, I'm going back to my setup, but if I were just starting out now, I would go with the Godox SL60W, and I would probably get the Aperture F7, which is color temperature adjustable as a fill light. And I think that the 28 inch parabolic softbox is a little bit small. I would recommend going up to the 36 inch if you can fit it in your studio. They have all the measurements on Adorama's site to see how big this parabolic softbox is. So if you can fit the 36 inch, I think it's totally worth it to go up to that. And Overall, I think it's a really good purchase. Thank you so much for watching my video about the Godox SL60W. If you have any major questions, you can definitely leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. 
And if you have any further questions that I can't answer, I would direct you to Tommy Calloway, who has done a bunch of videos about the SL60W. And that about wraps it up. So thank you so much for watching. Here on my channel, I do tech reviews and gaming computer reviews and gaming computer builds. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, please feel free to subscribe. And if you have any other suggestions about studio related setup questions or studio setup suggestions, please leave a comment below and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible. So thank you so much for your time and that's it.